Yo, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Echo X April Maker custom quad cable. So, if you want to mind dropping a like on the video and a sub, that'd be very appreciated. Enjoy the video. If you got into the rabbit hole of a custom keyboard, you probably heard of a quad cable. So, this one I got off Amazon for $15. It was a blue and white version. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get this for a dollar cheaper on the Apple Maker's website. However, Prime Shipping does counter for that $1. The box is pretty standard, it does come with a red and black color scheme which is kind of confusing because this is a white on blue. And you just have your typical branding and information on the box. When you open the package you will be greeted with a white box and a yellow box, yellowish orange box I should say. The yellowish orange box comes with a custom cord cable in it, the white box comes with the extender. The cable comes with two options, one of them with the extender and one just the coiled cable itself. Um, the extender one costs an extra $2 or more depending on which color you choose. But keep in mind either way you are paying way less than you were if you're getting a more premium cable which could cost anywhere from $50 to $100. To connect the extender to the cable itself, just line up the three prongs inside of the thingy and line it up and plug it in and then there's like a little thing that you just push down and screw it in. This being a $15 quad cable, there's obviously some major differences between this and an $100 cable, like build quality. As you can see, the ends of the cable is not as straight as a usual one would be. And keep in mind, this may vary. Maybe it's just the item that I got, but yours may be different. And one of the major drawbacks is that there's like a major space between the actual keyboard and where the quad cable starts at. Like if you look at any other cable, even like one that's like $30, it's nowhere near as long as that and there's many reviews on Amazon of people criticizing that, which is why it only has about 4 stars. And last but not least, it's time to plug in the cable. And this is USB connected and USB Type-C to the actual keyboard. And it, I believe it's like a 99% like compatibility rate. I think it, don't, it may not work if you have like a very slim like area to actually fit in the USB. Now overall, is this worth buying? In my opinion, it is. If you don't have the money to spend on a more premium cable, this is definitely a good option. Just remember that there are some drawbacks to it and it's not going to be as high quality. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, and also let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer.